we're going to Miguel's Jr. So out here in California, one of the best uh, Mexican food, fast food restaurants, Miguel's Jr. So I'm going to get some food for a bunch of friends. And when I go through the drive-thru, I'm going to tell them, <laughs> I'm going to say, I want to thank you. I used to be a stupid atheist, but I ate your burritos and they're so delicious. There has to be a God. You know, all joking aside, how could someone be an atheist? You know, um, when Christians look at the world, you know, I'm a Christian, when Christians look, in the, look at the world and we look at DNA and we look at all the design within the world and we look at how the universe had a beginning, so something very powerful had to create the universe. The universe actually was created. It had a beginning. Because there was nothing, no matter, no space, no time, and then the universe is created, right? So when Christians look at the world, we say to ourselves, what is the most rational reason for DNA and design and all these things that we see within the world? And atheism <laughs> never even pops into our head. Why is this person stopping? Oh, there's someone in front of him. Does design within the world make atheism more probable or God more probable? Of course it makes God more probable. Does DNA, which is empirical proof of design, make atheism more probable or God more probable? Of course it makes God more probable. So we are allowed to lane split, but these people right here are very narrow, very narrowly close to each other, so I think I'll stay right here. Light's about to turn green. So remember, we're going to go through the drive through Remember the order. They told me to get carne asada burrito and two bean and cheese burrito. Thank you, brother. Let me in here. We're almost there. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't see, he's off to the right there. All right, here it is, this next turn in here. So if you look at the phone here, you could see that we're recording. I could operate, manipulate everything right here on the cell phone. So what we're looking for here is Miguel's Jr. Ah, here it is. Don't want to hit the baby. We'll go through the drive-thru. You guys ever see a motorcycle go through the drive-thru? Let's see if they take my order. I've never gone through this drive-thru before. Or, or have I? I can't remember if I ordered here. No, I've been through Tommy's before. not taking my order.
Hello? Anyone there? Alright, so they're not taking the order. Let's go to the front of the line. get far back so can I order okay I was over there but I don't think there was enough weight on the bike okay no problem could I get a carne asada burrito with guac guacamole and two bean and cheese burritos that's fine medium rare is fine Let me get the card and two bean and cheese burritos Yes. Can I get nine red? All right, thank you. I have a backpack on, so I'm going to put it on the backpack after. Thank you. I'm gonna just kind of set it here. I know you're thinking, well, what about the atheist thing? I kind of didn't want to say it till I see if they take my order. So evidently there wasn't enough weight on the bike to register. She said she didn't hear me. probably think I'm like a Uber Eats deliver person <laughs> which I'm not I don't even think they let you do Uber Eats on a motorcycle can you imagine you get your food it's all like messed up as you guys know there's only the rest of October, November, and December, and then the atheists have failed the Shock of God challenge again. You guys know the challenge. I've been challenging atheists all over the world to answer one simple question. What proof and evidence can you provide as an atheist that would finally at last prove that atheism is accurate and correct? And so far, no atheist has been able to answer that question. I'm going to put a couple of videos right below here of atheists trying to answer the question and not being able to. Namely, the Atheist Experience Show, people keep calling up asking them and they keep saying they're not going to answer it. I'll put their actual video right below here in the video description. They said it's a malformed question because atheism cannot be true because it's the rejection of God. <laughs> Well, we know it's the rejection of God, but, you know, then God exists. You know, it'd be great if they gave us, if uh, atheists would answer the question. You know, Godless Engineer failed the question. The number one most subscribed to atheists on YouTube, the amazing atheist. I call him the amazingly hellbound atheist. I'm not happy about that. The amazingly hellbound atheist. He, too, failed the Shock of God challenge. Looks like here comes our food. Whenever I say I used to be a stupid atheist till I had your burritos and whatever, if I say 
things like this going through. I've never said it at this drive through They always look scared when I first say it. <laughs> and then, then they tend to smile or laugh later. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say, thank you, I used to be an atheist until, a stupid atheist until I had your burritos. And I was like, oh, there's got to be a God. Oh, they're not bringing that out here. Okay, I think because I said carne asada burrito, it's just taking a long time. Will I have enough guts to say what I'm about to say? Yeah, of course I will. Da -da 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 -da. And then I'm going to show you some freeway acceleration. I'm going to show you how this thing gets on the freeway and it just hauls. First, I have to put the burritos in the backpack. Man, it takes a long time. How long have I been here? Let's see. It's we've been recording. It says 12 minutes, but probably more like 10 minutes cuz I started the video about 10 minutes ago but I flipped it on here with my phone ah here she go hey thanks and you know I used to be a stupid atheist till I had your burritos and I'm like there's gotta be a god all right thank you you too okay she laughed she's like yeah those atheists are so stupid she knows I'm actually walking with my legs here. Like, I haven't even put it in gear because it seems like that might be safer. Okay. Kind of going downhill. Here. I'm going to kind of go a little quicker and move out of the guy's way in case the guy behind me comes. Then, I'm going to show you some freeway acceleration. Let me show you how this bike looks too. Do you know, um, I've had a lot of bikes and this is my favorite. <coughs> this is a 1043cc motor. It's fuel injected and then it's liquid cooled. Like it has its own little radiator and everything. And then, um, go over here. And it's six speed and it does have the Akropovic exhaust, which you'll hear that as we get on. Let's put the backpack on. Okay, we're ready. Now, the truth is I did used to be a, stu I did used to be a stupid atheist, but it wasn't Miguel's burritos that caused me to realize that atheism is stupid. I'm going to tell you guys, let you in on a little secret, because I used to be an atheist. I'm going to tell you something, just a little secret. Don't tell the atheist community you know this. You know why the atheist community says they lack belief in God? Because whenever you're debating with an atheist, they lack arguments against God's existence. <laughs> so, here's a freeway coming up. So they don't lack belief, they lack arguments against the existence of God. Can you hear that Akrapovic exhaust? It is epic. Let's see. I could slip through here, but the light's about to turn green and I don't want to get caught, so watch this. There's a freeway coming on to the right, an on-ramp, and we are going to 
get on the freeway i should actually win if these cars over here on the left start going which i don't think they're going to go i'll lane split no we're going so here we go one more light and it's going to be tight one more light and it's going to be tight we got a tight corner coming up to our right and I am going to lane split now easy this is legal in California how be it not for the faint of heart especially on the freeway this guy's on his phone to my right so I hope he me give it a few reps Look at America. Have you guys been watching? Let's give you a little uh, update on the Democrat debate. Those Democrats are crazy. Did you hear Pocahontas Elizabeth Warren saying, if we've taxed every 15 cents of the billionaires have, and then we did this, and then we did that, we could pay for this or that. Will you ever ask yourself, why don't they just print money and give it to people? Go print money and give it to poor people and see what happens. Okay, here's freeway. Give me the green arrow. Give me the green arrow. All right, here we go. Watch this. This thing just handles so well. What's that guy doing? That was sketchy. Anyways, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Miguel's Jr. <laughs> for stopping people from being stupid atheists. Oh, man. That is not good.